finishing with the drop shot today. Um, uh, some structure out here. I think a rock. Oh, that's it. Yep. There's one. Oh, that's a nice one. Uh, oh, he's got a big old wound on his back. What is that? That's nasty. Man, I got him good. It's pretty cold out too. My hands are cold. Man, I hooked him. Fabulous too. That's not a bad one. It's around the two pounder. Alright guys, um, this lake is one of the few, I mean, I'm not catching very ma many bass right now. Um, tell me if you guys are catching them, because I'm not, um, I'm, I mean, the only pond that I'm doing good in is this one. This pond I'm doing exceptionally good, there's one, there's another one. Looks like the, ooh, that's a bird, that feels like a good one. Yeah, that's what feels like a very nice bass. On um, the drop shot. I caught some big fish from this little drop shot. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, man, that is a nice bass. That's one of the bigger ones out of here. Yeah, that's a good bass. He hit it, too. Let me show you what I'm fishing with today. That's not it. Oh, that's another good Oh, the hook just fell out, too. All right, that's, that's not a bad bass. All right, um, one of them. I got another... He was like, no, he's not that big. He's paddling. Yeah, he's a little guy, about a pound. A little fella. Hooked right in the back of the tongue. That's a great place to hook him, too, because that tongue is really tough. That's around a pound. Maybe less, probably. But yeah, that drop shot's working really nicely. I mean, I was throwing that erratic shed around a couple days ago, and that's what they wanted. But tough thing about, most people think fall time's not good because it's getting cold, the weather's changing a lot. Fall time is actually a really good time. I think it's better than, than summer. Not nowhere near as good as spring. Spring time's the best, but um, fall time, is hard because they you have to switch up the baits like they will hit on something one day and nothing the next day and there's there's one and I'm proving it well that's a nice one and let me tell you what Rio I'm using today too I'm using a Browning aggressor oh Browning aggressor he's gonna shake yeah Browning aggressor that's not a bad one. Browning Aggressor, it's a 2000, and it's on a um, six-foot rod. It's a, it's a nice combo. The rod is really nice. The reel's not the reel. The reel's pretty nice. I'm, I might get another reel, a different reel to put on it that I like better. But oh, that he hit it good, man! I'm I'm starting to fire him up now. Look at him paddling right on that surface right there, guys. Um. Oh, quick release. That's fine. I got most of the fight out of him. Um, but anyways, I'm using a Browning Aggressor reel, 2000, and it's a nice combo. I got it for $49 at Bass Pro Shop. There's another one. Man, I'm starting to fire him up. It's every cast now. See, most people think fall time to start fishing for bass, but it is. I'm using six pound P-Line Fluoro Killer. Oh, um, and um, most important thing to do with a drop shot is you want to use fluorocarbon right? because it's real sensitive. Braid's pretty much a no, but <laughs> I'm starting to fire them up, guys. I mean, they're just—it's almost every caster out here. 
he just missed it. Just missed it. No, he's on. Nope. He's not on. Another reel that's really another nice spinning reel um, that I'm going to get in the near future is called a Shimano Stratic. That's a nice. Um, so I'm saying it's end my ending right now. Um, had a lot of, I cut around 40 bass they had really good. My camera shut down so I didn't get that many on there. Um, but I'm going to try to keep the videos coming. As I said before, it's getting cold, but the bass are starting to fire up. So thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And catch one for me next time. Thank you.